What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can back up and restore worlds and progress inside of Valheim. Of course, you may want to keep multiple versions of the same world or even possibly share them with friends. You can use this backup and restore method to do that. So to begin, first of all, open up the game's save folder. You can do this on Windows by holding down start, pressing R to bring up the run dialog box and then typing in percentage user profile percentage backslash app data backslash local low. After your folder opens up, then open up Iron Gate followed by Valheim. Inside of here, we have characters, which has all of our save progress and worlds over here. The worlds folder over here obviously contains save data for the worlds that you've been playing in, including buildings and more. The characters folder over here contains items and player progression for your character. So of course, if you'd like to back up your characters and worlds, you can simply select these two folders and either zip them up, copy them to somewhere else, or do anything like that. You can right click them, send to compressed zipped folder. After doing that, they'll be compressed down and put into a zip file that you can open up and see everything inside. Of course, this also helps compress big worlds. As you can see, the world over here went from 6.8 to just 2.2 megabytes. Both of these folders went from a total of 28.8 megabytes down to 2.9. If you'd like to zip it up in something like 7-zip, you could probably squeeze out quite a bit more compression. There we go. You can see it's 2.3 now instead of 2.9, but of course that's just semantics. If you'd like to restore from this folder over here, simply open it up in something like a new window, then navigate into say worlds, worlds inside of the folder, and drag the files across that you'd like to replace. After replacing them, you'll restore from your backup. It's super simple. Of course, if you'd like to share the world with friends, you can do it that way. Or of course, you can simply host your own server. If you'd like to host your own server, check the description down below for a video on how to do that. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.